Welcome back to the Emirates Show. Uh, obviously, Arsenal versus Tottenham is tomorrow, so I'm going to do a combined 11. Uh, the formation that I'm going to go with is 4-4-2, so I can get two strikers up front, um, and the midfield looks pretty stacked, and the defence will obviously be the usual. Uh, starting with goalkeeper, um, Lloris or uh, Leno, it is a very difficult one. For me, I feel that Lloris with all these accolades and being the number one goalkeeper for France gives him a bigger boost than Leno but Leno Leno is a great goalkeeper Leno just has the mistakes that he makes like he did against Burnley giving it to Shaka instead of clearing it there was a lot there's a lot of things that he has done that just doesn't it's not to me it doesn't sit that he is completely ready to be that number one German goalkeeper because they still got Manuel Neuer he's not challenging for that position yet um so at this moment in time, I am going with Hugo Lloris as the starting goalkeeper for the starting eleven. Going to right back now. Um, for Arsenal, we have Hector Bellerin and we have Cedric Suarez. For see now for Tottenham, um, I wouldn't. I'm not too sure on who I'll pick. No name really stands out to me. None actually will come to me and be like, oh yes, I'll definitely start him over Bellerin. So, Bellerin will get that starting right back position. Centre backs. Um, see now, Arsenal have a lot of good centre backs, but the issue is is the question of who is better. Um, in my eyes, I've always loved uh, Toby Alderweire. Um, really loved it if he had been able to come to Arsenal at some point, but that's not the case. Um, so Toby will be one of my starting eleven. He is absolutely fantastic. He does know how to cover. He knows how to defend. He's tall, big, strong build. Um, with that, his partnership is going to be... I want to say David Luiz. I want to say David Luiz. But I can't... David Luiz has been great, but he does make his mistakes as well. Um, someone that has come into the Arsenal squad and has been a strong presence. He... Has made one or two mistakes, but he's st he will still get he's still getting his he will still get in his feet running under the Premier League. So I'm going with G um, Gabriel as Toby Alderweireld's partner in the defense. Uh, as the left backs now, I'm I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. I am gonna be 100% biased, but we do Tottenham does have um, Aurier Aurier or am I gonna go with Tyranny? Um, for me. When I'm looking at it, I am looking at the player's contribution to the team, the player, his emphasis and the way that he plays. So, for me, um, crazy enough, crazy enough, crazy enough, I am going to leave Tyranny out. Um, as much as I love him, as much as I do love the way that he plays and that he plays for passion with Arsenal, Aurier has been that player for Tottenham where he has been solid when he needs to play. Um... He has been he has been that guy there at the left back for Tottenham that has been pretty strong and pretty outstanding. So uh, Sergio Aurier is going to be the left back for that team. Midfield. Now this is where things get a lot very tricky and very hard because then you now have to decide on player for player who you would get as the best best attacking sort of style as long, as well as defending. So, as the right mid, um, we all know who I'm going for. We all know that I'm going for Saka. Saka's always going to take that right mid position. No one else is going to take it. I don't think anyone on Tottenham will be able to take that spot away from Saka. So, Saka will get that uh, starting right mid position. Uh, in midfield, this is where I do have an issue. Because looking at Tottenham's lineup, look looking at Tottenham's team sheet, look at their squad, they have got a player there that I want to put in. Um... And I will probably end up putting him in because he has been, for Tottenham, he has been stable. He was at Newcastle and he obviously made it clear that he wanted to come to Arsenal. Um, Sissoko has breathed of fresh air into his career from Newcastle to Tottenham. Um, I feel like if he had to come to Arsenal, then we wouldn't have needed to buy Partey. Uh, so it would be interesting, interesting to see. But so Sissoko will get that position. Um, alongside that, he is going to be partnered up with, I want to say Partey, but 
because Partey has been injured a lot this season, we don't really get to see his full potential. Um, obviously, um, if I go back from his reputation at Atletico Madrid, Partey will get in that position. Um, but I'm basing it off of his talent that he's done at Arsenal at the moment. Um, so, uh, who am I kidding? Partey gets that position. So it would be Partey and Sissoko in the middle of the midfield. Um, the left mid is where it gets a bit tricky. Um, I'm seeing... No, nah, it doesn't get tricky. That is a very, very big lie. Uh, Mora. Lucas Mora is getting that left side. He is controlling that left side because Lucas Mora, what he did... Well, what he's done for Tottenham has been absolutely fantastic. Coming from PSG to Tottenham and he has dominated. He was the reason why Tottenham got to the Champions League final a couple of years ago. So it has been... It is something that he has been able to do and he's proven himself to be that quality star player. Now, let's go to the up front. All right, there's not a lot of up fronts for Tottenham. Um, actually, that's a lie. There's actually two. You got Son and you got Kane. Um, so, now, this is where it gets tricky. Would I prefer Son in my team or would I prefer Harry Kane? Um, for me, personally, I'm taking Son every single day. I'm taking Son every single day because Son is... He's like an energizer bunny. The guy just moves. He just consistently moves. You can never tr un not track him. If you don't track him, then he's gonna be beat you behind and score a goal. Son is Son is just Son is Son is a fab fabulous. He is a fabulous player, and he will get that position from me. Son will get that position. Um, I know a lot of Tottenham fans are gonna hate it, but I do feel that Son over Harry Kane. Yes. Um, it's because Harry Kane is English, obviously. He, Harry Kane is good. I'm never denying it. Never, ever would I ever deny it. Harry Kane is actually a good striker. But for me, it is always going to be Son because Son is able to do a lot more things than Harry is able to do. So Son gets that one starting striker position. Now, for Arsenal... Who am I kidding? We all know who he's going to. And it's no secret... Uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, the captain of Arsenal, will get that last that final position. He has proven himself to be an amazing striker. He had come to the Premier League halfway through a year, and he got his feet running. He scored goals. He's done everything. He's won two FA Cups. Um, hopefully, he's going to be able to get us to Europa League potentially, get us to Europa League, or get us back to Champions League. There's a lot of things going on, but. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang will be partnering Song up front. That's a str now with that lineup. That is a very strong lineup, and I cannot complain that I would be happy with that squad if I was starting it. So let's go back through. Let's go back through the lineup. So we have Hugo Lloris as goalkeeper. We have Hector Bellerin as our right back. We have Tol Toby Alderweireld as one of the left backs. We have Gabriel as the other left back. Then we have Sergio Aurier as um, the left back. In midfield, we have Saka as our right mid. Then we have... Apologies. <clears throat> then we have Sissoko and Partey. And then we have Lucas Moura as our left mid. As attacking front, we have Hugh, um, Son and we have Aubameyang. So that is my lineup. Um, if any other Tottenham fans feel that that lineup is wrong, if you disagree with who I've put in there, let me know in the comments. Uh, it will be interesting to see what people will put as their starting combined eleven. Don't be biased. I've tried not to be biased, and that's this is my team. So again, my team is Hugo Lloris as goalkeeper, Hector Bellerin, Toby Alderweireld, Gabriel, and Sergio Aurier as our defenders. We have Saka as our right mid. We have. Sissoko and Partey in, and Lucas Moura as our midfielders and then we have Son and Aubameyang leading the front line uh, let me know if you disagree with what I've put out there if you do disagree that's fine but just let me know uh, hit me up with a comment and we can discuss this stay safe and see you tomorrow at 420 on Twitch M Rich M underscore Rich 58 and welcome bye see you all North London Derby tomorrow baby let's go